Hello everybody and welcome back to my um, tropical studio. Um, for those of you who have just joining us now, in the last video I showed you how to set up a completely mobile set of kits so that you can put your whole studio into a backpack and travel anywhere in the world and just set up and be able to start turning out professional quality um, um, music using a laptop and a portable keyboard. We've got a MacBook Pro here, we've got a three octave um, called Micro Key, I've got all my libraries on a one terabyte SSD there uh, and I'm using Lima to, um, to control volumes and things like that from my mobile phone. That's all I need in order to leap into action, I said. But leap into action I did not actually do last time, so I thought this time we'll do a very simple bit of scoring just to show you that the whole thing does work um, within certain limitations. Of course, you know, it's not the same as working with a system with four slaves and thousands and thousands of tracks. We've got, I don't even know how many tracks we've got here, we've got about probably 50 to 100 tracks. I mean, the bare minimum you need in order to turn stuff out. And I'm going for more ensemble patches and things like that rather than, you know, big sophisticated patches. But nonetheless, let me put my headphones on, um, cut out the deafening sound of the um, roaring waves behind me, and let's have a little look at what's going on. Right, the first thing I did actually was to change the colour scheme within um, Cubase so I could see it when it's outside in the brilliant sunshine like this um, because the normal dark colour scheme just disappears as soon as there's any kind of sunlight on the screen. So uh, let's... Uh oh, let's get rid of that. Something else already in there. Let's get rid of all those bits and pieces. It's truly empty. Right, okay, here we go. Let's, uh, what should we start with? Okay, let's start with... Uh, how about some muted strings? Let's do something a bit more uplifting than that. Okay, so this is a sort of lyrical, um, let's get some harp going next maybe. There's, we start with plenty of those, um, uh, how about that, some sim sort of simple harp coming in here. It doesn't work. <laughs> it's working all right up to there, wasn't it? Right, let's have another go. Let's, uh, let's uh, add some. How about legato clarinet? Other than the fact it came off early, that worked, didn't it? Okay, I thought it worked anyway. 
<laughs> she might be sitting in that side. Worked! It's nowhere near worked. It's the worst idea he's ever, ever had, and that's saying something because he has some bad ideas. Okay. Let's assume that's right. Now, what we want to do, though, is we've got to build that... Um, th there's that crescendo which is happening, and therefore... This is... Okay. One of the things about using... Um, when you try and strip down all the stuff you're using until it's really bare essentials, is you go back and look at some really simple old style um, samples from East West Quantum Leap Symphonic Orchestra which has been around now for a very long time go and look at things like uh, French horn portato on trombone portato they're just wonderful wonderful samples they're kind of really soft Isn't that lovely? You've probably, I bet loads of you have got that at home and you didn't know it. And you, you've never, or some of you probably do know all about it, but it's one of the things I would say to people all the time is, you know, before you rush out and spend another sort of zillion pounds on a new library, go and look at the ones you've already got, because I bet there's stuff in there which is going to work for you. Okay, let's put some markers in so I don't have to go through the whole thing every time. Uh, Turks go from there. Wait in ah, too late, came off too late. It's all right. Don't worry, we can sort it out. Don't panic. Okay, let's go up there and have a little look. Uh, yeah, there you go. Look, beat too long. What was I thinking? I was obviously dis distracted by my surroundings. Uh, okay, let's take that back to there. I mean, it's not rocket science. It's just big. Uh, actually, I want to put. Uh, let's put the trombone portato in on the bottom as well from there. See, lovely sound, isn't it? Isn't that great? That worked. Right, okay. If it works, press on. Don't mess about. Now, how about some... Are we going to be brave and put a... Shall I save my work? That's a good idea, isn't it? Absolutely. Just in case it all goes crashing around me. Here's a timpani. How about timpani roll? Okay. So I'm going to... Bring in a timpani roll on G, which is the dominant, and then go boom, so we can have a big kind of whoosh. In come the horns, and the trombones, and... Yay! Okay, this is starting to feel uplifting, as they say. I don't know, I've got to try and find... Oh! Shall we go with that? Shall we have a, a big gong moment when, uh, when we 
come in there. How about two, one, two, three, four, go! <laughs> okay, I mean, look, it's it's a bit cheesy. It's a bit cheesy, isn't it? Uh, I, the fact that you can write uh, great music uh, on a portable kit sitting on a beach doesn't mean that I'm going to. <laughs> it means I'm going to do my best uh, in uh, 10 minutes to see what I'll come up with. Okay. How about putting a, a bit more texture in this early bit? Uh, Okay, let's take that down. Here we go. Okay, I can live with that. Um, are we going to put any more woodwind in? Now, actually, at this point, you see, I would, if I had uh, Albion woodwind from um, put in one of the use one of those paddy things because they were really, really nice. Is there room for a little counter line in here? I declare that done. That's as much as we're going to do. Look, it, it is perfectly possible to write decent music. And, and you don't, you know, as I say all the time, you don't have to do the whole whacking great thing with, um, you know, orchestral music all the time. If you're working on um, Ableton Live or you're doing stuff which is more sound designery, um, you can work without an awful lot of this kit, frankly. Uh, anyway, look, um, I think that's turned out all right. Um, it just shows you what is possible if you're using a um, portable set of kit. Um, so um, I'm going to leave you for the time being. If you want to know more about this kind of stuff, you want to you know, hear yet more uh, of these kind of videos, lots of free material and all the rest of it, there's a link below this video so you can um, join our little um, team and hang out with us and we will bring you um, lots of stuff which I hope you'll find useful. In the meantime, I'm going to go off for a swim. See you again.